in St. Charles. This is Hendrix on the score. Yep. Hey. Hello. Uh, Hello, Hendrix. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I was wondering, what did you mean that the Cubs have it easier riding, not riding on a plane in their next 22 games? I don't, I don't get how it's easier for them. <laughs> You don't understand how air travel can be difficult for people? Uh, no. Could you explain it a little more in detail, please? Have you ever traveled by air? Of course. Plenty of times. And you don't find it stressful and sometimes debilitating and, and tough on your body? Yeah, but those guys don't go through security like we do. I mean, they got they got it made. They, they get first class all around. It's still not the same as playing at home. Yeah, but traveling and anybody who and anybody in at any level of sports will tell you they are more comfortable and generally the numbers say they're more likely to win when playing at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so sleeping at home in your own bed and just driving to work as opposed to getting on a plane and going 4 hours one way and 4 hours another way and getting less sleep usually in the process. It's easier on the body. It's yep. easier. It's easier mentally. Yep. It's it's a break when you don't have to fly. It's an absolute. It's a treat. I, Someone who has to fly all the time, and I did this for a long time. When you are home, it is a treat. It is a wonderful thing to be home. So yeah, that's yeah, that's I, a I, that's a good thing. I, I didn't know that this was a difficult concept. Yeah, but I I, I don't understand how it's hard. On it the is box. a difficult concept, apparently, because it's not about going through security. Like, that's difficult enter, physically for your body. Mentally or physically. Why don't you handle this one, Matt? It, it, it's it, being 35,000 feet in the air. I mean, it's not going through security that causes jet lag and stress on your body. That's not so the hard part of it. Those TSA lines? No, it's, no, it's about the actual air travel. It's about being in an enclosed airplane in 35,000 feet in the sky. Yeah, being being propelled at 500 miles an in, hour in, in tin foil. In an aluminum right. tube. And sometimes having to get on an airplane at 1 in the morning and flying somewhere and then playing 10 hours later. What, are they swinging a bat 35,000 feet in the air? I don't get it. Are they throwing... Okay, uh, let, me, let me ask you something. Do you, do you legitimately not understand why professional athletes would prefer not to travel? Or is this... Are you, are you doing a bit... Just to be difficult, or do you have you? Is this always been something difficult for you to understand your entire life? Yeah, it has been. Oh, are are you doing a bit, or are you dumb? I, well, I don't know. Am I? Yeah, I kind of <laughs> think so. Are you on any kind of medication? I mean, for long long periods of time. You would. What? Hey guys, <laughs> first time caller, long time listener. All right, I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore. Right. Matt, uh, any yeah. thoughts? I think it's probably no. time to hang up. Tanny? Yep, yep, time to hang up, yep. What was that? All-star break phone calls. Yeah. Okay, more of this. <laughs> you know what show you're listening to, I can tell you that. Big Al in Rogers Park is next on the score. Hey, fellas, how you doing? 